what is the spiritual position on internal salvation? Is this the cause of one saved and forever saved? Uh, I like that question particularly. Um, I didn't know I was going to answer it today. <laughs> but I would want to do a program mm -hmm. and address that. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to take time to address important subjects. Um, whether we are saved once, whether we lose our salvation, mm. is it once saved, forever saved? Mm. All I can say is that there is a danger of sloganeering in okay. Christianity, mm -hmm. where complex theological ideas are reduced to a slogan. Mm -hmm. So, and one of it is once saved, forever saved. saved yeah. What is that? We have to unpack that, that slogan. Mm -hmm. What do we mean by salvation? What makes us saved? How, is it possible to lose it? Mm. And when we see the full expanse of it, then we can tell whether it's possible to lose it or you can't mm. lose it. But if we, we just summarize it in a simple slogan, uh, once saved, forever saved, eternal security, or whatever mm. we call it, um, we diminish the complexity mm -hmm. Of, of what the Bible is talking about. Theological issues are not, it is, they are not always easy to just say in one sentence. You have to take time to explain it. it, it, it it's a lot of explanation. And, and so um, I would want to take that question from, who, who what was the name? The person the was who, whoever, he, okay. The person the name. Yeah, I want to take that person's Questing, uh, and it's I would charge you uh, for us to examine right. our salvation. Right. Right. What it is. How did it come about? What were the symbols of it in the Old Testament? What is the reality in the New Testament? What is the process of salvation? Can it be lost? Mm. Uh, and so and so forth. Right. Uh, and when we go through the journey, I will leave the answer to everybody to make it uh, for themselves.